Thanks for joining us for the Lake Build Builders uh, Cubicle Party. Um, this is the March edition, and we have some new information from the last Cubicle Party we had. We have the ability now to um, use the challenge tracker to track uh, the work that we're doing when we add links back to the profiles. So the GTG post has all the information about it. I just wanted to kind of show where we are so far this month. It's a huge increase over last month. We have uh, 21 participants and over 1500 ancestors with links back to them so far this month. So that's exciting. And I just had somebody leave a new post on the G2G uh, G, uh, post for the challenge that they just found this and are excited to help out. So probably see some more people join in. So one thing that's come up before is a question that uh, has come up is that how do they how do they add links back from ancestry.com? And so I just wanted to kind of go through, uh, I just created these couple profiles, this brother and sister that are uh, notable uh, singers. And I'll, I'm just going to go through and add links to the various places so that everybody can see how that's done. So the first child is Shirley Mae Gunter. I'm just going to grab her ID, Wikitree ID here, and go over to her Wikipedia profile. If you have the Wikitree B uh, enabled on your browser, you'll have down here along the side, uh, if there is an entry in Wikidata for this person, Wikitree will be a link. The next link that's available is, uh, if you click on this, it, cre it gives you this dialog box where you can copy the markup for the Wikidata template to paste into the profile, Wikitree profile. The next link here is going to give you the ability to copy the Wikipedia article link, the internal link for the Wikitree profile as well. So it's just something that's fairly new that Flow um, has enabled up there. It's kind of exciting. So to add a link back to the Wikitree profile for, from Wikidata, you just go to their Wikipedia article. And on the right hand side here, there's a link for Wikidata. And you just scroll all the way to the bottom. Make sure, usually Wikitree is down here at the bottom. Uh, and we already know that it isn't linked because there was no link from uh, for Wikitree from the main page. So you just start typing in Wikitree and it just choose Wikitree person ID and you just populate that in there from your clipboard. And then you just click publish and you're good to go. So now if you go back to the Wikipedia article and you refresh, refresh the page, you'll see that now Wikitree is a link. So that takes you right to that person's profile. On family search, there's a couple different ways you can do this. We cover it on the link builders page, team page. Um, the fastest way that I've been doing it, and it's right on this front page, so it's really visible, is I've just been adding this little text here. And then on the note, I just leave, I have in my clipboard, a statement prepared. The Wikitree profile contains additional sources and information. So that's what it looks like in the notes section. It's also in the collaborate section, it shows up there. On fi find a grave, you can just leave a flower and we kind of talk through and give some examples on how to do this um, more in depth on the link builders page. And there's oh, YouTube videos on how to do this as well. Also where this flower is. 
this image, or you can use the Wikitree logo, whichever one you like. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So with find a grave, you can't leave a full URL. So I just leave this statement and that's what it looks like when you're done. And then on Ancestry, so this is a record of her um, obituary notice. If you scroll down, you can leave a public comment. Um, so you can say this and then leave the little comment about how the Wikitree profile contains additional sources and information because that's a kind of a main uh, specific record for her. Uh, if there was an actual death record, which is another one I'll show later on the other on her sibling, um, that's another way you can do it too. And then this is discogs.com. So for musicians, this is a site. I don't have the ability yet because I'm fairly new on this site, but you can add sites um, just like I've shown on IMDB, you can add external links. Um, they kind of have a different way to go about it. And I'll, once I'm enabled to be able to make edits to the pages, I'll do a little video on how to do it. But um, this, if you are on Discogs, this is an option to link back to the Wikitree profile. Uh, and then if they're in movies or anything, IMDb is a really good place to do that. So then when you've gone and added links to all those places on the profile, when you've made the edit and you've added the links there, here they all are. Right here is the challenge tracker. You just click link builder challenge and then this, the places that you added a link back to. Eventually, uh, Alesh is going to have it so that we can have uh, scores by site. So we can see how many um, links are being added to uh, like Wikidata or IMDB and those types of places on this. There'll be an option right here on the score sheet. So that's what I wanted to cover. And so does anybody have any questions or want to see anything? I'm really excited about how many people are joining in. <laughs> I think. No, I, oh, sorry. <laughs> Go, ahead. Go ahead. I think no, I just popped it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think since he, since it's been added to the challenge tracker and it's easier for people to do it now, it's made it so people, oh, what's this? You know, and then they go ahead yeah, and join in. So. For sure, which is great. Yeah, I've just got a room to actually check all, all my things because I, I do so many more links and I haven't checked them all. Yeah, I know. There's I, I hadn't even remembered about, I had heard about Discog's site before, um, but I hadn't really used it that much. So um, I think it was Judy Stutz that mentioned it in the Notables channel. So yeah, there's always, and like uh, Wikipedia and um, there's the TARDIS wiki, different fandom sites. Those are really great places to add links back to too. But I think, I think the majority of people are doing find a grave and uh, family search. That's what I've kind of gotten the most questions about, which is great because, you know, it's just another place. Yeah. Any place is great. I actually, I popped in to just say thank you because it's this link building is huge for us yeah um it's it's one of the ways that we um can rank higher in google which is what we need because that's basically our business plan um so the more links the better for sure yeah eventually i want to get a group of people that would be interested in going through and adding to wikidata links to our location categories Oh, that would be cool. That's a whole thing too. Yeah. So, 
I've done a few and some of the projects also like uh, Quakers. Um, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> If I looked lost, it's because what you just said just went right over my head. <laughs> you want to see what I'm talking about? So um, just yes, like yes, the, please. The, just like the person page, the article for Shirley here, if you click on her location of Coffeyville, Kansas, there's the wiki data item for that as well. And then if you find, um, let's see, on Shirley's profile here. I've got um, the category for Coffeyville, Kansas. So if you just grab that ID, Coffeyville, Kansas, and go into the Wikidata page for Coffeyville, scroll down to the bottom, add a statement, Wikitree category or space page is another option besides person ID. So, oh, okay. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so like uh, there's space pages for uh, different uh, military, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Like regiments, you know, when somebody's right. focusing, you can do that for a space page, link to a specific space page for okay. that. Because there, be, if there's a Wikipedia article about it, too, then you can build a link to the between the two. So let me ask this: um, Wikipedia has Super Bowl pages. Mm -hmm. I've created some Super Bowl pages yep. in WikiTree. I can take that ID number, go to the Wikipedia yeah. thing, click click the Wiki data, data thing and, and add the my super bowl yep page onto that wiki data so if someone looks at it yep oh okay and, and like um when we have a one place study or even if somebody's just made a page for a building or a school and maybe that's a notable uh place it's on the national historical Re historical register if there's a Wikipedia article, you can do the same thing with that. So anything, pretty much anytime there's a Wikipedia article about it, you can link back to it because there's a Wikidata um, I'd, uh, property for it as well. So yeah, but that that's- um, Yes, Jimmy. any of our ideas. <laughs> that, and that's not, I don't really don't really have a way to track that in the challenge tracker because it's not, um, you know, we don't track a space page edit as a, or a category page edit as something that can be tracked on the challenge tracker. So that's just, I think like extra credit. <laughs> yeah, but it all, it, all, it all help. It all, yes, it all helps. Yeah, definitely. So. It, it does all help. And even like the, so like for those, uh, historical register places that are uh, on the National Park Service, the MPS.gov. If there's a way we can make like make a comment, maybe. I mean, just kind of start thinking outside the box of the different websites that you can link back to Wikitree from. So I know, okay. um, I think it was, um, we did it in the Wikitree Day presentation. Uh, one of the ambassadors mentioned that he is an admin for the city website that he helps run it and so he's got links back to wikitree from the site <laughs> so it's kind of cool but yeah just lo lots of different options <laughs> how are you guys doing tonight or darren you're in the morning right <laughs> uh, it's afternoon afternoon how's it going yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, sort of first autumn storm probably happening. Wow, 
but yeah, just a little bit of dusting of snow today. It was like 17 degrees last night. I'm hoping it'll start warming up. Yeah, apparently there's supposed to be some snow, snow down further south than where I am, so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Okay. Unless there's right. something else that I can share or um, answer any questions specifically about link building. No, I, I just... Um, somebody had messaged me because they were reliving their childhood and googled the baptist church in um connellsville connellsville pennsylvania um my fourth great grandparents their name both the husband and the wife their name is on the stained glass window oh, okay. in that church huh. and on the church's website there's a little parable th or a little information thing. And then it has like the before and after photo of that window, you know, as d before the res the restoration and, and after. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Because he went and Googled the name Samuel Trevor, my profile of him on, w on Wikitree popped up. So that's why he sent me the message. Oh, neat. Um, so this link building thing actually kind of. It's cousin bait. So it's, it's definitely cousin bait. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I found Wikitree was because somebody had a picture of um, an ancestor that I had never seen before on the profile for him. So that's what got me started. Is a Google search. So yeah, I just I hadn't experienced the cousin bait really before that. I mean, he's not <laughs> related to the he's not related to the family, but because he had found the my profile of him on WikiTree, he contacted me about you know the church with the stained glass window and stuff. So now I got some research to do um, because they're like one of the founding members of that church neat that's really cool so i can um i'm gonna link i'm assuming i can link the church's website to his wiki tree mm -hmm. profile so yeah. i'll do that and then let let the church or the historical society or whatever know about the profile too because maybe they'll if you've got a nice write-up nice biography maybe. for them and you're mentioning them then maybe they'll link back oh yeah i didn't even think about that yeah i mean his profile is there's not a whole lot to his profile right now but yeah. that's why i need to do the research which once i do i know it will become better well, another place okay. to think about is, um, you know, chronicling.gov, uh, uh, where right. they have all those images, historical images. Right. You could also put, because you can put comments in, just, you know, oh. those, those things, you know, all. So we can put their, at least their ID there too. Yeah, and like Trove, uh, the the Trove website that right. also has the ability for you to add comments, and you can link back to Wikitree for the profile that the article is about. I mean, a lot of mo most websites will have the ability to add a comment or something. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's been interesting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Learn some things, so, and hopefully, people watching later on 
Yeah. Learn these new things too. Yeah. <laughs> or if somebody has ideas, more ideas and share them, you know, leave comments on the video uh, because we do get those. So, all right. Well, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for pitching in to help out. <laughs>